Mediha, thank you so much for the henna. It's time for maths with Mr. Thomas. Here we go. This is the start of lesson number one with chapter four. I'm looking at multipliers, but I'm splitting multipliers up not across one or two or four lessons. I'm splitting it across three lessons. Yeah. It's an important part of percentages, so I'm going to start off with the basics, just looking at a single increase or decrease using multipliers. What's that, Mabel? What's a multiplier? Good question. What is a multiplier? Well, if you have a value that's going to be increasing or decreasing by a certain percentage, you could obviously work that percentage out and either add it or subtract it to your original number. However, if it was increasing or decreasing, multiple times, that would take quite a bit of time to do. So, you can use multipliers. I'll explain what they are in just a second, but what I'm going to do with this lesson is just look at some basic examples. These examples, you could probably just work out the percentage and add it on or take it away, but I want to start off introducing multipliers with these easy examples to get used to using them. So, a multiplier is a number, and the way you work out the multiplier is you start at 100%. You're always going to start at 100. Always? Yes, every single time, Daniel. And what you do is you then add or subtract your percentage. So if something is increasing by 15%, you would add 15. If something is decreasing by 10%, you take away 10. You add or take away the percentage you're increasing or decreasing by. Once you've worked that out, 100 plus or minus your percentage, you divide it by 100. Well done, Bethany. You always divide by 100. You always do that. Yes, every single time. What you can then do is you can work out your new value or your new amount by taking your multiplier. Oh, I've got it. And you multiply it by the original value or the original amount. Oh, that sounds easy. Let's try some basic examples then. So, example one. A jacket costs £80, but is reduced by 15% in a sale. Can I buy it? Sure, if you can afford it. Let's find out. What is the sale price? So to work this out, we can see we have the jacket. It's costing £80 and it's reduced by a percentage. So we could just work out the 15% and take it away dead easy we can do that but again this lesson's all to do with getting used to using multipliers so we can apply that to the second and the third lesson in this chapter this lead-in lesson should make that slightly easier so using multipliers what you do is you always always yes always start at 100 you then add or subtract your percentage once you've done that divide by a hundred so here you would start at 100 and what is the percentage we're going to be adding or subtracting? 15! It is 15, yes. But would you add 15 or take away 15? Uh, take away? Yes, you're perfectly right. How do you know? It says reduced by. You're perfectly right, yes. It says reduced by 15%, so it means it's going down, which means you're taking away the 15. So you do 100, take away 15, and then divide by 100. Careful if you are doing this on a calculator, because if you just bang it into your calculator, doink, 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 lots of the calculators will be doing the 15 divided by 100 first of all, and then do 100 take away, whatever that is. But you know that's not right. You know what you do is you do 100 take away 15, and then divide by 100. If you're doing it in the calculator, maybe use the fraction button or put brackets around it, or throw away the calculator. And... Work it out without, because 100 take away 15 is dead easy. You know that's 85. And you know that's dead easy, because 85 over 100 is just 0 0.85. Perfectly right it is, 0 0.85. So, that is our multiplier. This is our important number that we are going to be using to work out the sale price of the jacket. So, to work out the price of the jacket, to work out this new value, this new amount, this price, this cost, what do you do? Well, you take 
your multiplier, which is the 0 0.85, and you multiply it by the original value of the jacket. So you do 0 0.85, the multiplier, times by the cost of the jacket, 80. And if you work that out, what do you end up getting? 68 pounds is perfectly right. So, you know, the jacket was on sale at 68 pounds. Woo! Bargain! Is it? Example two, a garage adds a 12% fitting fee to the cost of a set of tires. If a set of tires costs 239 pounds, work out how much the garage will charge. So this again is a question where you could work out 12%, you could get that number and then just add it on to the original. But again, this lesson is all to do with using multipliers and getting used to using multipliers. So I'm going to use that method. So. The multipliers, the way you use them is you always start at 100. Always? Yes, always. And then you add or subtract your percentage. Then you divide by 100. So here we're going to be starting at 100. Would you add or subtract here? Add. How do you know? Because it tells you. It does. It says they add a 12% fitting fee. So if they're adding a 12% fitting fee, well, you're going to be paying more than just the cost of the tire. So you're going to be adding that on. So you do 100 add 12, divide by 100. Again, just do this without a calculator. 100 add 12 is 112. Divide that by 100 and you get, Thomas, 1.12. It is 1.12. Very well done. Brilliant. To work out the new amount, Marley, help me out. What do you then do? You are perfectly right. Yes, you take your multiplier, the 1.12, and you multiply it by the original value. This question here is talking about a set of tires for £239, but something is being added onto them. So really, that's the price that we're starting with. We're starting with the 239 so we multiply our multiplier by the 239. If you work that out, Marley, I know you can do this without a calculator because you're a genius. And you get, perfect, you get 267 pounds and 68 pence. Very well done. <laughs> Round of applause. Which means then that the garage will charge you 267 pounds and 68 pence for working on your Nissan Duke. Well done. Here we go! Example three. The day it came out, the Lego Batmobile. Da -na 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 Batman cost four hundred and sixty pounds. Its value then dropped in the first year by twenty three percent, and then during the second year, when the latest Batman movie came out, its value increased by fifty eight percent. How much was the Batmobile worth after these two years? So this is one of the questions where uh, the value is dropping in the first year and then it's going to be increasing in the second year. So because it's dropping by a certain percentage and then increasing by another percentage, we're going to have to do two calculations. The first thing we need to do is we need to work out the value of the Batmobile after this first year. So to work out the value, once again, let's use multipliers. You got it. So... You always start at 100, and then you add or subtract your percentage. What's that you're asking, Mosma? Always. Yes, always. You always start at 100, and then add or subtract your percentage, and then divide by 100. Thank you. So, here, we're talking about the first year, and in the first year, it says the price dropped by 23%. So, because the price is dropping, we're going to be taking away, and the number we take away is our percentage, which is 23. So, you do 100, take away 23. Again, do that without a calculator. 100, take away 23 is IFRA. Perfect. And then, if you divide that by 100, IFRA, brilliant. Everybody, give IFRA a round of applause. Just for you, Ifra. Then, the value after the first year. How would you work that out? Well, what you do is you take your multiplier, the 0 0.77, and then you multiply it by the original value. And the original value is the value at the start of the calculation. So the value at the start, well, it says the Lego Batmobile da -na 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 -na, cost £460. So we multiply it by 460 
If you work that out then, you end up getting, doink, 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 type into your calculator, 354 pounds and 20 pence. Yeah. So that's the price at the end of that first year. But what's happening after that is the movie's coming out. Did you see it? It was good. And the value then is increasing, and it's increasing by 58%. So you then have to work out what the value is going to be at the end of year two. So once again, because a value is increasing by a percentage, let's use a multiplier. So start at 100. Always. Say it with me. Yes. Start at 100, add or subtract your percentage, and then divide by 100. So, here we are starting at 100 in year two. Do -do -do -do, the value is increasing by 58%. So because it's increasing, you would add on your percentage. So it's 100, add the 58, and then divide by 100. If you work that out, Jeet, help me out. Perfectly right, good. You would get 158 divided by 100, and then re-add. Yeah, you got it. That's 1.58. Very good. Owen, what do you then do for year two? How do you work out the value? Perfect. You take the multiplier, the 1.58, and you multiply it by the original value. Just be careful, though, with this. Even though I'm saying it's the original value, I'm not going to be using the 460. When I'm being the original value, I mean the value at the start of the calculation. And the value of the Batmobile right now at the start of this calculation is this. It's the £354.20. So that is what you want to multiply the multiplier by. So the value at the start of the calculation, well, it's £354.20, so that's what you multiply it by. If you work that out, you end up getting the Lego Batmobile to be worth £559.64. Correct to two decimal places. Woo! Try some of these questions once you feel you have mastered multipliers, move on to the next lesson, the next lesson and the lesson after that, a little bit more with multipliers, but it starts to bring in more of the National Five style questions where you're having to work out the value of something after eight years or nine years or 27 years or 16 months. This is just a lead in to that. Give it a shot in the Lecky Lecky and National Five book, page 328, exercise 31A. Good luck. Have fun. Batman!